it is just 27 days to the to the inauguration day that is the swearing in of Tinubu, and is looking as if all forces both spiritually and physically have been working against uh Tinubu's swearing in because how else do you explain that just you know a few days ago it was reported that Tinubu's son is guilty you know of fraud in the united kingdom because how do you explain a property what billions millions of of dollars outside the country belonging to a businesswoman a businessman pardon me now in the name of sheyi tinobu and right now we have you know <laughs> from news sources that uh, tinobu's daughters as well are also guilty of committing some crimes in UK hmm. I'm like like father like children this time around it's not even like father like son anymore because <laughs> how on head would you have thought that you know it's not only Tinobu that is involved in all these crimes but it's children as well probably the way you raised them you know the father is a criminal a drug addict a drug baron for that matter and you know how else do you expect the children to you know turn out hmm. before we go into the details of today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world as well lastly please leave your comments in the comment section Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Busted, see the alleged crimes Tinobu's daughters committed in the US that she is not punished for. Questions bordering on why the United States has failed to probe Bola Tinobu's daughters, Zainab and Abibad, for allegedly laundering cash in the North American country is trending. The questions followed Bloomberg's report about how Tinubu's son, Uluwashi, also paid an $11 million cash for a London mansion President Muhammad Buhari's administration was seeking to confiscate as part of a probe into one of the biggest corruption scandals in Nigeria. David Indei, an investigative journalist, has also revealed how Tinubu's daughters paid $2.1 million and $2.45 million cash for apartments in New York as fresh graduates. In one of his articles, Indei wrote, and I quote, two of the three youngest members of Bola Tinubu's family have managed to escape scrutiny mostly because freedom of information in Nigeria is still more aspiration than fact. Not so in America where a plethora of services can pull up all kinds of records including birthdays, criminal convictions and real estate transactions, especially real estate transactions such as the ones where a 25-year-old with no known employment or source of income was able to pay $2,150,000 in 2014 for a Dulux condo at 55 Berry Street, Brooklyn, New York. Full and upfront cash payments, by the way, no mortgage or real estate transactions where the 25-year-old's 22-year-old sister, who was fresh out of music school, with no known source of income, was able to pay $2,400,000 cash to buy a Dulux apartment at 255 Hudson Street, New York, using the one-inch thick fig leaf that was accompanying she herself honed. Yesterday, after reports of Tinobu's son, she is fraud-linked mansion, mid-waves, someone said, 
we are told that a deposit of over ten thousand dollars would have the IRS sweeping around you told to declare money over ten thousand dollars cash when traveling so excuse me when I wonder how these monies are moved a bit thick in cash forms and the securities in the Western world keep smooth. David in then replied and I quote, You are asking the right questions because if you are doing anything in America that requires a transfer exceeding ten thousand dollars, FinCEN will will be all over you and you will have so much paperwork. Yet a 22-year-old unemployed fresh graduate was able to spend $2.5 million cash on real estate. Another concerned Nigerian asked, and I quote, Does it mean the US and authorities in Europe are colluding with criminals in Nigeria to launder cash? The international media complaint, Bloomberg, added that there are documents showing that Oluwashi's firm bought the $11 million London mansion, eyes across the world and are apparently fixed on Bloomberg's publication, which has left many with mixed views. The international publication noted that corporate documents it saw show for the first time that Tinobu's 37-year-old son Uluwashi is the main shareholder of Aranda Overseas Corporation, an offshore company that paid 9 million euro, that is $10.8 million to Dushed Bank for the property in North London in late 2017. The publication added that at the time of the purchase, Nigerian's government was seeking to arrest the house former owner, accusing him of going on the run while owning the country, owing the country, and oil trading debt worth more than 1.5 billion. You guys, what do you make of this? Because <laughs> how is this can never be a coincidence? Because first of all, let me just mention that the publication wasn't by a Nigerian. This is an international publication, you know, made by Bloomberg. And this is no coincidence that, you know, uh, three out of the children that Tinubu has are guilty of a crime. In fact, outside the country, not even here in Nigeria. And they are not being prosecuted for it. There are lots of questions that need to be answered. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video.